this is the Lies of P demo, and this game is supposed to be releasing on September 19, and I am definitely going to play it. I really, really like the gameplay, I like the graphics, I like how the game looks and performs on the PC. But unfortunately, man, the HDR is terrible. Take a look at this. This is horrendous. <laughs> I don't understand, man, how these developers they just don't test the hdr i mean because sdr when you go when you open this game on sdr it looks like this so they definitely know how to make the game look good okay if they just open the game on hdr and test it they will see that it doesn't look like their intent okay so the creator's intent is this because this is how the game looks on sdr so this is not their intention. <laughs> I know that. They just didn't work on that. I mean, this is a small studio. But yeah, this is not acceptable. It looks terrible. But if you have a PC, it doesn't matter which monitor or TV you are using. This is going to work because the settings I'm going to share with you are going to fix the black level race, which is the problem we have uh, on this game. We have black level race. We don't have settings on the game either to change the max CLL, the maximum peak brightness that the game is trying to output is about 1000 nits, you cannot change it unless you use reshade with this preset that I'm gonna share with you. So all you have to do is download the file, install reshade and copy those files on the game installation folder. It's a single uh, file that you have to download and that's it. But if you want to understand what I'm doing here, so you can also you know, fix other games and just for curiosity, I'm going, I'm going to explain you what I did here. And this might help you to get a better result on a different game that I am not going to test or that I am not uh, playing at all. Because every game that I play, that, that I test and I get the solution, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be uploading the fix, the reshade fix to the same folder that I'm sharing with you on this video. So in the future, when you open that folder, you're going to have the settings for every single game that I fix. All the games that I fix are going to be there. And all you have to do is just to copy the file. And that's it. You get these results and you just have to do minor tweakings depending on your display. And I'm not going to charge any money for that. It's going to be free. Uh, it doesn't matter how many games I fix. It doesn't matter how much work I put into this. Uh, because I think that HDR gaming is so messed up that for someone to take advantage of that and try to charge money, that's just a crime against the community. And I, I don't, I'm never going to do that. So this is it. This is how it looks. So let me share with you the settings and explain you what I did here. So what I'm using is this new Lilium uh, shaders that we have available on Reshade. And I am using this PROD8003 curved levels. So you have to make sure you install this uh, PROD80 shaders on Reshade. So this works. So when you copy the file that I'm going to share with you, when you copy that file on the game folder, it works because you have the shader installed and you have to make sure you download the Lilium HDR shaders. Okay. So you can have this HDR analysis tool that I have here and you can have this tone mapping, this Lilium tone mapping that we are using. So now what's the problem with this game? This game doesn't have any sliders and it doesn't support the system level calibration. So when we have something like that, that's bad HDR. I mean, just straight up. If the game doesn't have sliders, it has to support the system level calibration. So hopefully these developers, you know, they improve that for the release. So, you know, people can get a better result, but hopefully they can also fix this terribly washed out picture. But if they don't do anything about that, here's the solution. So what I'm doing is, I am lowering the black level using this uh, Lilium tone mapping shader 
with this tone mapping method BT2390, we have black level control. So what I did here is I increase this source black point number and by increasing this number to 0 0.02 I am getting perfect blacks in some scenes in some areas so I do not want to crush the blacks too much because then I have perfect blacks everywhere but then I am crushing details especially the character when I look at the hair and when I look at this clothing I would be crushing details if I lower the black level more. So this is as much as I can lower the black level, increasing this source black point number. So then with this uh, BT2390, we have different processing modes and I have to use this RGB uh, processing mode. Otherwise, the picture looks too dim. The brightness goes down significantly. You can see it here. And of course, we can change this this knee factor and knee minus, but yeah, RGB looks better. Uh, it doesn't affect. So if I go before and after with this uh, tone mapping, you can see that the only thing changing here is the black level and the highlights. Aside from that, the mid tones they stay the same, which is very important. So we don't touch the visibility of the mid tones. So. The other thing we're doing here is we are using this PROD8003 curved levels to reduce the grayscale near black. So I'm going to do this. I'm, let me get this HDR analysis tool out of the way. And I'm going to show you this graph, which helps me to set up the settings here with this shader. So you see here this diagonal line. What I am doing is I am reducing the grayscale, the visibility near black. So it looks, so it doesn't look washed out. And I am doing that by changing these two numbers, this toe position X and toe position Y. So I have the toe position X to 0 0.045 and the toe position Y to 0 0.03. Okay. And by doing that, it looks better. Okay, and it looks better without crushing blacks. I am just reducing that grayish look that the game has without crushing blacks. That's all I am doing here. So I am not affecting the highlights. I am not affecting the mid tones. Very important. You can get these settings working uh, for the most part. This is going to be working for every single monitor and TV, but very important that you check the maximum peak brightness. So when we analyze the HDR in this game, take a look at the top left corner of the screen. When I do not do the tone mapping, you can see here that the max CLL is over 1000 nits. Okay. And it, it is maxing out at 1026. So what we have to do with this tone mapping uh, shader is select here maximum tone mapping brightness 1026 so now you want to do this if you need to do tone mapping on your display if you have an lg g2 you don't have to do tone mapping because that hgig is like a thousand nits okay so it depends on the display if you have a monitor that has you know it has less capabilities or it is doing tone mapping uh, with a different target for some reason you have to change this number, this target brightness, and you do have to do tone mapping. So now, usually here, I would just input 800 nits, and it should work uh, and give me a max LL of 800. But in this case, I had to lower this number to 788 for some reason. So I can get this max LL 800, and sometimes it's like 802. But it doesn't matter. I mean, this 802 is not going to give me clipping at all. This game doesn't have a lot of highlight details anyway. So we're not getting any clipping here with HGIG on this LG C1 OLED. So that's it. This is all we have to do to fix the HDR. You can just install the latest version of Reshade. Watch this video again. Just copy the settings or download the file that I share and just copy that file. After you install Reshade, you can copy that file 
on the installation folder or during the installation process of reshade you can load that uh, those pre that preset basically you can also do this here on reshade you can come here uh, and you can add new preset I think it is let me see how it is okay it's here so you can basically click here where it says reshade preset this is the name of the file that I'm going to share with you you can just click here and then you just search that uh, on the folder you, you can just search that uh, where you have that after you download that uh, reshade preset you can just search that you just double click on it is a dot I and I file and then it's gonna load this this settings that I have here that's it and yeah and you're gonna find more games there so far I have cyberpunk and I have this lies of P but I, I I'm going to keep working on other games so you will have uh, many many games there in the future in that folder so yeah, let me know if you give this a try I'm really really happy with the results it looks absolutely incredible but not like this <laughs> they really messed it up but we fix it with this game if you're playing on the consoles you cannot do this use the tv settings use fine tune dark areas minus 16 that's my recommendation and that's gonna give you the best results and yeah you're gonna get a little bit of clipping if the game doesn't support the system level calibration on the console but not really not really if you have a you know, C1 on 800 nits HDIG OLED. You're not gonna see a lot of clipping. A little bit. It's not. It's not gonna be a big deal in this game, especially as far as I can see. The game doesn't have a lot of details on the highlights. It's just light sources, so the clipping is not gonna be a big deal at all. Uh, it's okay. So just lower fine tune dark areas minus 16 on the consoles, and it's gonna look good. It's gonna look very good, no problem. Um, so yeah. Let me know your thoughts and opinions and if you have any questions.